The Chef Enterprise Automation Stack provides tools for defining and managing every aspect of the software development lifecycle as code. In this video, we'll see how Chef helps organizations automate the build and release of their applications, the configuration of underlying environments and infrastructure, and the process for auditing systems for security and compliance. Before we dig into the Enterprise Automation Stack, however, it's important for us to first take a step back and look at the larger problem that automating these processes helps us to solve. We'll start by talking about how it is we're able to derive business value for our companies. To be an industry leader in today's ever-changing world, organizations must recognize an inescapable truth that every company is a software company, regardless of their industry. Our customers want to be able to book our services online, buy our products from their phones, and receive automated alerts when deliveries are delayed or reservations have changed. If we don't provide these features to our customers, we can be sure our competitors will. It's therefore imperative to understand that as organizations, we derive our business value from the applications we provide to our customers. It's therefore imperative as well that we automate the process of managing the life cycle of these applications. Because the better we are at managing that life cycle, the more competitive we become in our respective industries. Now, effective application delivery can be a delicate process. We need not only to ensure that we're able to ship new features to our customers quickly, but that we're able to do so without exposing our organization or our customers to undue risk. Mitigating risk and securing our environments without sacrificing deployment velocity requires one thing above all else, automation. Automating application delivery is accomplished by defining each aspect of our application's lifecycle as code. When procedures are codified, they can be consistently executed on demand, ensuring that instead of resolving issues, organizations can focus on shipping features to their customers. So, what do we need to automate? First, we need to automate how we build our applications, since that's where we derive most of our business value. Those applications need to live somewhere, so we'll need to automate how we configure our infrastructure. And we'll need to automate the process of validating security in both of these processes. We'll need a way to maintain observability into all the things we're managing. And we'll need a unified user experience for all of these things we're automating. And that is exactly what Chef EAS, or Enterprise Automation Stack, provides. Chef Automate gives us visibility into everything being managed by Chef Habitat, Chef Inspect, and Chef Infra, our three automation engines. Chef Workstation provides all the tools you'll need to interact with all of the above. Now let's see what it looks like to manage an application with Chef EAS. The application I'm responsible for is called National Parks. It's written in Java and packaged with Chef Habitat. An application package with Chef Habitat contains not only the compiled application, but a manifest of all the dependencies required for it to be built or run. This results in a lightweight, portable artifact that can be deployed to bare metal servers or virtual machines, as well as exported into immutable formats like Docker containers. Bundling applications with a complete dependency manifest ensures that what a developer runs on their laptop behaves consistently with what was deployed to an on-prem VM farm in the staging environment, which in turn behaves consistently with cloud-based Kubernetes clusters in production. The same artifact, the same libraries and versions, independent of operating system or platform. So what does it actually look like to deploy an application with Chef EAS? In my local copy of National Parks, I've created an update to change the color of the navigation pins from blue to red. Now, I just need to build the app and test the change. The command Hab Studio Enter launches a clean room environment we can use to build our applications locally. Running the build command, we'll first install our build dependencies and then build out our Habitat Artifact, or HART, file. When the process completes, my newly built artifact will have its own unique identifier that I can use to test it out locally. 
We'll do so with the hab command and hab service load. Specify our artifact and set a binding to our database. Now our service is loaded and we can validate in a browser. Over in prod, we see the current blue pinned version of our app. But if we hit localhost, we now see the updated red pinned version. Before I can deploy my change to one of our live environments, I'll first need to upload it to the Habitat Depot, an artifact repository designed specifically for Chef Habitat artifacts. We'll do this by running the hab package upload command to take our locally built heart file and make it available in my Habitat Depot. Now that version 7.0.9 is available, it lives in the unstable channel. This ensures that I don't consume the change in production until I'm absolutely ready to do so. Chef Habitat additionally supports deploying applications with an update strategy, which defines how and when deployment should occur. My dev environment was watching the unstable channel with an at once strategy, so it's already pulled the change we pushed in 709. At once, we'll deploy new versions of my application as soon as they become available in the depot. However, my production environment is watching the stable channel, and therefore, even though it too has an at once strategy, the earlier blue pin release is still in place. We can confirm this in Chef Automate in the Applications tab, where we can see which version of each Habitat package is running on our systems. For National Parks, we can see development is on 709 and production is on 708. From Chef Automate's dashboards, we can also view the results of Chef Infra client runs, which are used in my environment to ensure that infrastructure is hardened and patched. The same systems use Chef Inspec to perform periodic compliance audits and ensure our systems remain secure throughout each deployment. And that's really just the tip of the iceberg. With the Chef Enterprise Automation Stack, you can deploy any application anywhere and update environments with literal push of a button. Automating the entire application stack gives you the agility to deliver innovation to your customers just like that.